we have a very popular video on Skill Builder talking about how to cure a cold radiator, but we also get people who have got the opposite problem. They've got radiators that won't turn off. And in these days when we're all trying to save a bit of fuel, we've got rooms we're not using, it's nice to be able to go around and turn those radiators off. If you've got thermostatic radiator valves, you can just turn that radiator down to a point where it's on the frost setting. The customer's been turning this rad valve down like really quite tightly. It's making no difference. If you read on the top, you should be able to get the correct replacement head for that valve, which saves any plumbing. Now, a lot of people don't understand that actually when you take these off, there's no plumbing involved. The best thing to do, by the way, is to turn them up before you take them off. And then we find we can just undo the nut by hand. Always turn it all the way up to the top number and then you'll just unscrew that. Now these ones have got a plastic pin which isn't very good. After a while they just give up. So the first thing I want to do is just check this pin. Just push it down gently so that sounds like it's working quite well. So the way these valves work is that there's a pin inside there which is going to push down on the pin that's on the actual valve body itself. Now that pin is pushed up and down by some kind of cartridge, usually a wax filled cartridge, but it could be just a gas filled cartridge inside there like a bellows. And as the temperature warms up, the bellows expands and it pushes the pin down and it closes off the valve. What we want to do is we want to make sure this is fully on when we screw it on Hand tight is plenty. Put the arrow at the front where we can actually see what's going on. We can turn the valve down and as we turn the valve down that will push that pin in. Now if that doesn't solve the problem I'm afraid it means that you've got to take the radiator valve body off which is normally a question of draining the system down. If you're good at plumbing there's something you might want to do. So that should if it's lining up there that should be completely off on the zero. We turn it round to there, that's the frost setting. That means that if you're going away and you're worried about the house freezing, that will switch on at five degrees Celsius roughly and put a little bit of water through the system. But obviously as you go up, you'll find that that's still quite cool. But as we go up, we've got our top rating of five. So just cover something else that we get asked quite a lot. And that is, does it matter whether the thermostatic radiator valve is on the flow or on the return? Because sometimes people say it seems to be on the return, which means the water's gone through the radiator by the time it's turned off. Well, if you think about it, if you turn it off there, it's got to stop the water flowing through at this end. So it doesn't actually matter which way round it is, provided the radiator valve is bi-directional. So they usually have an arrow showing the direction of flow. If it's got one arrow going one way, that means it's got to go on the flow because the water's got to pass through that way. And if it's passing through the wrong way, it's trying to close. And that's where you get quite a lot of noise from radiator valves. But if you've got it on the right way or you've got an arrow which is pointing both ways, which means it doesn't matter which end you put it on, then you're fairly safe. But if you do hear noise from your radiator valves, it could be that it's on the wrong way round. Rog, I've got a stupid question. How can that valve change the temperature of the water? Now that's a very good question actually, that's not a stupid question at all. I used to get this a lot from people, they would say, I've turned the valve down slightly, now my radiator's gone completely cold. What's going on? They thought that what it would do is like you, that it would lower the temperature of the water. What this valve does is it switches the radiator flow on and off. If you go down to say three, the room is warm. Say the room is around about 15 Celsius or something like that. This valve will close. It will cut the water off until the temperature in the room falls and then it will begin to open and it will let a bit of water through. Not a huge amount, a trickle of water. And gradually, as the room needs to warm up more, if you've got it on a higher setting or the room's colder, it will open up so you'll get a full flow of water through the radiator. So it's not changing the temperature. It can't change the temperature. The temperature is controlled at the boiler and it'll switch it on, switch it off or reduce the flow. Now when it reduces the flow, sometimes you find that you get better heat out of another radiator because it, in a way these radiator valves are self-balancing the system and uh, that means that, that some radiators are heat up. If you turn this one on you may find another one in another room isn't getting so warm. But we've also got a video on how to balance your central heating system so have a look at that one as well. So I can feel this radiator is beginning to warm up nicely. It's actually coming through this end which means that that is on the return. 
Yeah, that stopped it. That's a success. I'm Roger Bisbee. I hope you found that useful and uh, come back and see us soon. If you're doing any plumbing, don't flood your house.